Create a purchase invoice in Sage Accounting. A purchase invoice is a document sent to you from your suppliers detailing what you've purchased, how much you owe, and when the payment is due. In this video, we'll show you how to create a purchase invoice. If you'd like to enter purchase invoices in bulk, you may want to consider using the Quick Entries option. We cover Quick Entries in a separate video. To access this and other Sage Accounting videos, please visit Sage University. To create a purchase invoice, navigate to the Purchases menu and click Purchase Invoices. Here you'll see a list of any current invoices. To create a new one, click New Invoice. Choose your supplier using the drop-down or set up a new one using this option. The invoice date will default to today's date. The due date will be automatically applied based on your default settings for this supplier. Change these dates manually if required. If you have a supplier reference, add this here. For example, this could be the invoice number provided by the supplier. You can enter a second reference here if you'd like. References help you search for and identify the invoice. You can now add item lines to your invoice. If you've set up product or service records, choose from the list or start typing its name and find the item. If this product or service is not one of your saved items and you want to create a record for it, create it now by selecting Create Item. Once entered, the invoice item line will automatically populate based on your settings from the product or service record. If you have entered a stock item, your amount in stock will increase for these items once the invoice is saved. The ledger account will appear automatically based on your default settings for that product or service. Or if you haven't selected a product or service, this will be the default ledger account for your supplier. If a different ledger account is required for this item line, you can change this using the drop-down. Amend the quantity or hours here if required. The price is taken from your product or service record. If required, you can change this manually. If you're VAT registered, you'll see a VAT rate column here. If you are not VAT registered, this column will not appear. This will be automatically selected based on your product or service default settings. If applicable, change the VAT rate for this item line here. The VAT and total will be calculated automatically based on your quantity and price details entered. For any additional items bought, repeat this process on the next line. If you're not using product or service records, do not use this drop-down when entering your item lines. Instead, manually enter a description in this box. Complete the rest of the item line, entering and amending the details as required. Enter any applicable notes about the purchase here or leave this blank. If you'd like to attach a file, such as a digital copy of the purchase invoice you receive from your supplier or supporting documentation, select the attachment icon and click Upload Files. Browse to the file and click Open. With the details of your purchase successfully entered, you can save the invoice. You have several options when saving an invoice. You can save the invoice as a draft. This saves the invoice but doesn't update your supplier account or ledger accounts. Use this option if you're not finished and want to amend it later. This invoice will not appear in a VAT return if it is saved as a draft. Save and New will save your invoice and clear the new invoice form, allowing you to create your next invoice without leaving the screen. If you'd like to save and finalize your invoice without entering another, simply click Save. You have now successfully created a purchase invoice in Sage Accounting. For more information and to access additional free courses, visit Sage University.